New fallout on the criminal probe into Rudy Giuliani after the feds have raided famously his apartment and office. Giuliani has been taking risks, like some other potential defendants we've been recover covering tonight. He's talking on his radio show every day this week. Giuliani's lawyer reportedly offering to bring him in for questioning two months ago. And that's an interesting detail we're going to get into. Bloomberg reports the offer was, though, contingent on prosecutors making clear what subjects, what topics they would bring up. And the federal prosecutors, who really hold all the cards in this kind of situation, said, no, thank you. Giuliani's lawyer reportedly emailing, quote, why are you doing everything the hard way? This gives us some glimpse into what Giuliani might have seen coming. Remember, it was big news when you had the raid, but his lawyers obviously had reason to believe there was something coming. Now, on top of the legal fight of his life, Dominion Voting Systems is asking a judge to go forward with their defamation suit against Giuliani. He is denying that anything was defamatory. Dominion, in a brand new filing, says Giuliani is ignoring evidence about just how much financial harm he caused the company, destroying the resale value, which had been up to $500 million, forcing Dominion to spend over half a million dollars on security for employees, all a part of that push to overturn the election. Joining me now is former SDNY prosecutor, Donya Perry. Uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks, Ari. Glad to be here. Uh, great to have you. Let's go piece by piece. Uh, in the negotiations, uh, what does it mean when Giuliani's side says, well, he would come in, but he wants kind of a topic outline? And what does it tell you that SDNY didn't feel any need to grant that? You know, I, 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 I heard you uh, quote uh, Giuliani's lawyer asking the prosecutors why they're doing it the hard way. Giuliani knows at some level, he has at least some distant memory, that there is no easy way here. There is only a hard way. And as you said, Ari, he doesn't hold the cards anymore. This is uh, an uneven, imbalanced power dynamic. And um, he doesn't get to say what he wants to talk about and what he doesn't want to talk about. That's just not how this works. So there has been a lot of discussion. Will Giuliani cooperate? He's not even going to get to there if he can't go in the front door of one St. Andrews Plaza where he used to uh, preside and give a full, unvarnished, warts and all account of every unlawful or even shameful thing, everything he's ever done, you know, from from the dawn of time until today. And so it really is a full and complete no holds bar disclosure that is required in order for him to give his account and to even begin to explore the possibility of cooperation. So he could not have been surprised by this reaction from the prosecutor. Yeah. And when he's when 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 he's also had this distance with Donald Trump, I was curious your view of how SDNY would look at this, um, because we mentioned, you know, we've talked about uh, uh, the, the whole idea of was he his lawyer or not? And he kind of was, uh, but then he wasn't paid. Then Trump publicly threw him under the bus, said I didn't direct him to do that. Now, again, that's tricky because Donald Trump lies constantly. Um, there are many days where he lies more than he tells the truth. So the fact that he said that doesn't mean it's true. I want to be clear. Uh, but it could be worse for Giuliani, which is what one lawyer, George Conway, says. Let me read this point. What Trump has to fear from Giuliani, quote, Giuliani's admission that he was not conducting foreign policy, but helping Trump personally is exactly what might make this sort of scheme prosecutable. Um, is that is that true in your view? Does SDNY care about those level of distinctions or if they have him on more than one thing, that's kind of a lower order issue? I think that's a high level issue. Um, as you and Joyce Vance said earlier in the program, um, a client who's facing criminal prosecution would be well advised to keep their mouth shut. Here, Giuliani and Trump, of course, um, are either ill-advised or simply take their own counsel and um, have been speaking for years. And so Giuliani has probably established or has established several elements of at least a far offense, as, as we have discussed. Um, and some of these statements, sure, they've been all over the place. Is he representing Trump or not? That's not the full question at all. He may have been representing Trump, but was he also representing foreign interests? They can both be true. And if they are, he will be guilty of a FARA violation. Um, so that's just one. Yeah, you're talking about of... you're talking about foreign lobbying. Correct. Yes. Thank you. I, and, I... and briefly, I'm almost no, I get it. I'm almost out of time. But 
would you work in SDNY? Would they go this hard at a random, non-famous, non-Trump league person if it was all over just that foreign lobbying violation? I suspect that there's more going on. I think, you know, this is not just a paperwork offense, uh, as some have argued. It goes well beyond that. But as you sort of alluded to, if he is representing Trump, that was a problem. If he wasn't representing Trump, that is a problem. And it could be even more of a problem if he was representing Trump. So I think every which way he turns, there could be legal peril. And gotcha. um, But I do think that there may very well be more at stake than just a technical FARA violation. That's what I'm wondering. I, I have the easy part, which is just asking the questions. But the question I ask is, is this all over foreign lobbying, which is not nothing, but or are they going this hard with the searches for this long because they have more than one count on foreign lobbying? Uh, we will see. Donya Perry, SDNY veteran, thank you so much. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.